very slice of life and I feel like I'm in the room with him recalling everything he's recalling. Um, the actor did a great job. He really kept me in and I know he was basically um, monologuing for a lot of it and like, you know, having to act with someone that wasn't there and whatnot, you know, just basically, again, based on a phone call and I think he did a great job. Um, his feelings of fear and loneliness are evident from the beginning, you know, him with the different phone numbers and whatnot, which I mean, was very scary to think of as a woman because of course he's like obsessively trying to figure out how to get to her. Cause I'm assuming he thinks that she's the only thing that can like, you know, solve his loneliness and like, you know, calm the, um, what's going on in his, his mind and how he thinks of himself and whatnot. But like, you know, it was a very realistic conversation in which she just like was not there to be that person for him she had moved on she has her own life she doesn't want to be a part of his anymore and kind of seeing that and seeing his realization towards the end of like the fact that he is alone it was very heartbreaking but at the same time you know it, it was very realistic and something that a lot of people go through um I think in within that moment cinematography wise I think the camera going out of focus um while he's trying to basically beg for her to be with him but then it kind of becomes clear as he realizes that he's lost her forever, I think was a really cool choice. It starts off very anxious. The main character seems to have a lot of anxiety in his in his expression um, and the way he's picking at his hand and pacing and shaking um, and anxiously calling. Um, and the table looks like it has countless phone numbers on it indicating that he's been calling a lot of people, whether it's to get her number or to talk to other people and get help, um, which I thought was a really great touch. Um, I liked that as the film went on and he talked to his ex, um, he got more and more comfortable and less anxious. Um, you could tell just by his expression, the way he's relaxing on the couch versus in the beginning when he's pacing. Um, and in the end, it goes back to that anxious, distressed emotion. Um, and I thought that was a really good roundabout way to bring it back to the beginning um and i think it was really well thought out and overall appreciated the small details that went into this film it was really um kind of a surprise that one phone call could keep my attention the whole way through and that says a lot about the acting the directing um the camera shots uh, just amazing um beautiful lighting it was almost sepia tone and I really liked it a lot. And the writing, too. This writing was really well done. I just thought it was really great acting, too, and a nice voiceover acting as well. Simple but nice. It really kept me engaged. I thought it was um, realistic as well. And a cute dog doesn't, doesn't hurt either. Uh, great dog work there. I know it's probably hard to work with animals. I just thought the whole thing was just really well done, and it came me it made me wonder where he was going to go after this, not physically, but just where he, you know, what was next and make, it made me want more. I thought the single location was a very smart choice story-wise as it keeps the attention to the one location intact. And it sort of helps the audience get a better understanding of the characters of the story and the characters in front of them. The phone call was engaging and I love how from the open sequence we get to see this character sort of in his own world and deep down we can see that he is really struggling with something and that's kudos to the actor for bringing across those emotion, emotions, emotions so well done. I loved how tense the, sh the phone call felt as we just want to know what's really happening and why the phone call in the first place. And when the reveal happens, it's, it works so well to connect with his character even more. And when he breaks, and when he breaks down, it's heartbreaking to watch. The way that we don't see the character, only the scraps of paper with the crossed out phone numbers. Um, it's a really great visual that captures the sense of urgency and importance that the phone call search has for the character. Um, and allows us to build empathy from the start. And I think it really sets the scene for the phone call itself. Um, and how it unfolds. And it's a, a really interesting way of doing the short film and exploring the character's emotions um, in a really limited uh, setting with limited actors as well. And I think that's really cool. What set it apart for me was the clever dialogue. I loved how the conversation moved along from very surface information to such heartfelt grief. 
and the two performers did an excellent job assisting in this transition. You could really sense the care and passion they had for one another, given their history together. I like that there was no soundtrack, but the passionate voices of the pair and the restless sounds of the on-camera lead. The story was so intimate, as was the effectively close camera work. Very intriguing ending. 